What's up, YouTube? Mr. Lamessi here. Thank you, Luthias. Back with another martial arts build. Now, this isn't going to be quite as OP, but it's also not going to blind you. And maybe has a better chance of not getting nerfed. Uh, you know, we can maybe say that. So, let's take a look at this build right here. This build is going to be utilizing Dragon Tail. It's a finishing move with an explosive kick. Um, you get all the charges plus the fire damage right there. And we're going to be mixing that in with Tiger Strike, Cobra Strike, and then Blades of Ice, which is really nice to just kind of freeze things. So I have max, 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 max on those. Um, and then we just have one, 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 one on those guys. Okay, Nothing give me in a here. breakdown of the entire um, patch real fast. For sure, that mods, for sure. Basically, Martial Arts Assassin. That's the patch. Um, so this is essentially our skill build. I have 18 skill points remaining, and honestly, I could have even more kind of playing around, so definitely some room on it. You could also really put these into, like, Claws of Thunder and stuff and just get more damage in other places. Um, so that's just something to note. Now, what I'm using for gear is pretty similar to that other assassin, but I changed it up slightly. I have a flickering flame on, so we get that minus 15% to enemy fire resist, plus 3 to fire skills. This is super nice, and it also gives us the level 5 resist fire aura, which for our fire um, sunder charm right here, that is going to be really helpful, right? Because that's essentially going to negate it and, and swap it around there. So we have that. We also have some upped gore riders. This is just going to increase that kick damage, increase that physical damage. Um, and this could be a little bit better maybe for some really single target ubers and stuff. Though again, at that point, I'd probably just have Dragon Talon go off with the, uh, the uber kicking. Additionally, you will want just full martial arts skillers still. Skillers are still what you want to aim for. I only have some res ones in here, but you'll want to fill up with skillers. Um, I've got the two mosaics. This is required for all of these builds. I've got a Mara's on. You could look at like an Atmos or something as well to get the amp damage if you would like. I've got Enigma, three to martial arts. You could get some 320s here if you want. SOJ, Arachnid, Ra Raven Frost, um, and Gore Riders. So, right, very similar um, idea, but a little bit changed up. And the nice thing about this build is it doesn't destroy your eyes as much as maybe, say, some of the other builds. So I can build up my charges that I want. And here we can still have, I still get to teleport around. You can use, like, Fortitude on this if you want, COH or something. Um, those will also work nicely. But here, this is Players 8. And you can see uh, we're, we're one-shotting everything. And I'm also not fully maxed out. This build definitely has more to be done to it, which will help it a lot. Um, but even just from a very standard way, it's not as explosive and ridiculous as you might have seen, uh, you know, like I said, with that other elemental assassin. If you have not seen that, I can leave a link below to it. But you're still getting really some nice, um, nice damage there overall. And here we can even go and check out Players 8 Cows, see how it's going for us there. And what's really nice about the Blades of Ice here is it's freezing everything. So that's really helpful um, just, you know, to have overall. Now, like I say, this is not going to be quite as strong as that other Elemental Assassin because you are only getting these charges off on every kick. But... There is a lot of damage that's physical that is still going to be gained and used over here. And it's still very strong. And it doesn't blind you as much, right? It's not quite as blinding, which maybe that's really nice. We're still, you know, 2-3 tapping on players 8, uh, which is disgusting. So, you know, it's, it's still plenty fine. There's still a lot that we can do with this build. Um... And there is a little lag right now, a little bit of a bug on uh, Dragon Tail at the moment, it seems like, in live. But, you know, Players 8, you can run around in these TC-87 areas, these area level 85s into, in your terror zones, and be totally fine. Murder, a lot of stuff with one quick tap. Um, it's really good as well. And again, I think this build maybe has more potential to not get nerfed as the other one, because the other one 
has such a screen destruction on it that I think that might be a lot. But here you're just kind of running around and one tap and stuff. Again, player's eight. It's it's gross. It's really really solid. Ooh, that super poison hurts. So that is the build. Um, yeah. I, I, I'd be curious to hear your thoughts on this as well. If you guys have tested, tried some other gear, like some other pieces with it. Um, again, getting more plus skillers and things really will have a big benefit um, to this build. And even something like we said before, COH. Now, of course, you don't get to teleport with Enigma, but it's still really nice. Um, you could also do something with dragon, right, or whatever, to really lean into the fire element of it, and that could also be super solid. So, there's definitely options. That's kind of a really fun part with this new martial arts assassin, is that we have options now. You could go in and say, I'm gonna run Tiger Strike with Claws of Thunder and Blades of Ice, or I'm gonna run, you know, Phoenix Strike with... The you, can, you can mix and match and choose how you want to run your different charges, and it seems like they all work. They're all pretty strong. And it just kind of depends a little bit for how much more you want with things. Um, you know, what's what else do you want? Uh, how much more damage do you need? What sorts of, you know, if you're doing Ubers, you might go one way. You might use that Kira's. Whereas if you're, you know, just running around in like the cold plains, you don't really need it. All of that. There's a lot of flexibility now. So, yeah. And then pretty much... Just enough strength to wear my boots. This is obviously way too much because Enigma, but I was testing other gear. Dexterity, you can have a little bit more. Maybe get some, you know, for whatever claws you have. And then um, Vitality, just kind of dump the rest. So that's the build. Hope that it was helpful. Would love to hear your guys' thoughts, how you played it, what you've enjoyed about it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace, YouTube. Have a good one.